Hello and welcome back. In a previous video, I showed you how to create a brick pattern. I will post that link in the description. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a pattern in which you can use it on other shapes. And this is actually a stroke using the pattern brush. So if you've gone through that video to create this pattern, I'm gonna reuse that. The first thing you wanna do is create a square with the rectangle tool, I'm holding down shift. And we wanna to go to option, transform, move, and make sure we don't have to actually move it right now. We just wanna make sure that transform patterns is off so that whenever we adjust this, we're just gonna to try to align this so we get the full bricks. You can see how it's cropped here. So make sure transform patterns is unchecked and transform objects is checked. I'm gonna just shift this so we get a clean break here. Hello and welcome back. In a previous video, I showed you how to create a brick pattern. I will post that link in the description. For repeating, we don't want double of that grout area. So I'm gonna resize my square. And we may need to pull this out just a little bit since it's not perfectly square. So this looks good for whenever we repeat this pattern. Next, I'm just gonna make a duplicate. It's always good to have a copy. Go to Object, Expand. We're expanding the fill, okay? And in your Pathfinder, options. If you don't have that open, go to Window, Pathfinder, and we're going to select this third from the left, Merge. So now we have individual pieces. Open up your brush palette under Window, Brushes, and I'm just going to drag and drop this new square into the palette. And we're going to make this a pattern brush. OK. And you can see here, you do have some options to adjust your corner if you need to. And our spacing is OK at 0, fixed scale 100%. OK. So now, if we draw a circle, L is the shortcut. and we select our new brush. We can resize the stroke by adjusting the stroke width. So if you need to create an arch or anything with your brick pattern, now you can do that. If you do want a little bit more variation, you're gonna have to do that before you make it into the pattern brush. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.